Good evening, people. This is your quick and dirty TOEFL listening for skills 4, 5, and 6. <clears throat> We're going to do a little walkthrough here. I've got all the, uh, the pages from the book scanned. And here's skill number 4, where we have to draw conclusions. That means you have to infer who is doing the talking, possibly what they're talking about and where the conversation is taking place. So we've got an example here. <coughs> uh, can you tell me what assignments I missed when I was absent from your class? <coughs> you missed one homework assignment and a quiz. Who is the man? <coughs> so apparently the man is a teacher. That would be an example. Here's another example. Uh, the woman, are you going to read those books here in the library? <coughs> I think I'd rather check them out now and take them home. What will the man probably do next? That's a question about what. So he'll probably go to the circulation desk because that's where you check out books. So let's go on to the next page. Uh, sorry, I, I think I should have told you that was page 19. Let's go to page 20, and we see uh, the breakdown of the skills. I didn't mean to draw on that. Uh, another example uh, where you might have to uh, 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 guess where the conversation is taking place. You can pause the recording here if you'd like to take a look at that. <coughs> We've got uh, how the questions are normally asked. Who is probably talking? What will he or she probably do next? And where does the conversation probably take place? <coughs> uh, we've got some other examples here. Feel free to pause your recording to read those examples. Going on to the next page, page 21, we've got a third example. Feel free to pause your recording. And here's the listening. Uh, you should number your paper 1 through 10, and we'll go ahead and practice that listening. If you're not ready, uh, pause the recording, go get your uh, uh, notebook and uh, a pencil and uh, an eraser. Here we go. I'm going to turn off the mic so that we don't get uh, any uh, reverb or feedback. TOEFL Exercise 4 In this exercise, Listen carefully to the short conversation and question in the recording, and then choose the best answer to the question. You will have to draw conclusions about who, what, and where. Number one. I didn't bring my laboratory manual today. You can share mine. Today we're conducting the experiment on photosynthesis, and we can work together. Where does this conversation probably take place? Number two. This is Flight 707 requesting permission to land. Flight 707, you are cleared for landing. Who is the man? Number three. You want to do the dishes now or later? I'd rather put them off as long as possible. What will the man probably do? Number four. How much of a tip should I leave? Oh, a dollar's plenty. The service wasn't very good. 
Where does this conversation probably take place? Number five. Can I pick up my shoes on Tuesday? I need them for a party that night. They should be fixed by then. Who is the man? Number six. Did you get pictures of the lions? Yes. And now let's go to the other side of the park. I want to see the exotic birds. Where does this conversation probably take place? Number seven. Could you put the letters in the pending file now? Yes, then I can answer them tomorrow. What will the woman probably do tomorrow? Number eight. The lights are flashing and everyone's going in. We should take our seats now before the second act starts. Where does this conversation probably take place? Number nine. Have you responded to Bob's dinner invitation yet? I'll take care of it right away. What will the man probably do next? Number 10. Can you fill this prescription for me? If you leave the prescription, I can have it filled in about 10 minutes. Who is the woman? Great. Well, that was TOEFL exercise uh, number four. And uh, sorry about the little mistake with the eraser. Hopefully you got a kick out of that. Um, let's go on to the next page, which would be page 22. And this is skill number five. <clears throat> this is where it gets really fun because uh, uh, they start to give you uh, in the text uh, information in active voice and then uh, in your answer options you find that uh, the answers come in passive voice and vice versa so they go from active to passive and passive to active what are we talking about <clears throat> well like in this example, uh, did Sally go to the bank this morning? <clears throat> yes, she did. She got a new checking account. What does woman imply? So we find here that uh, uh, Sally got a new checking account uh, is answered with a, a new checking account was open. So this is active voice uh, that uh, Sally got a new checking account and uh, our answer, our correct answer is in passive voice. Uh, notice that they do not mention Sally. In the other three answer options, they mention Sally, but they give you uh, incorrect information. Um, there's a little guide here. Uh, if the conversation cons contains a passive statement, the answer to the question is often an active statement. If the conversation contains an active statement, the, the answer to the question is often a passive statement. So we've got some more examples that you can check out. Uh, feel free to pause your recording for a moment to analyze number one. I'm going to go on to the next page. Where are we? Page 23. We've got two more examples here. Uh, I'll go ahead and read these, I suppose. Uh, the man asks 
have you been taking good care of the lawn? And the woman, I watered it only this morning. So she watered the lawn. That's active voice. Let's look for something in passive voice here. <coughs> uh, how about C, that the lawn has already been watered today. That's the correct answer. And in number three, did you hear the news about the child who was lost in the park? <coughs> yes, and I heard that she was just found. So she gives her information in, uh, in passive voice. We're going to find the answer in active voice. And it's A, that someone located the girl. Notice the mix of uh, synonyms uh, with passive voice. So uh, all of our previous skills are, are being recycled. <coughs> We're going to go on to uh, the exercise. I'll turn on the audio track and uh, uh, you'll be able to answer uh, questions 1 through 10. It says 1 through 8, but we'll go on to the next page. Let me find the audio track. And I'll be turning off the mic. TOEFL Exercise 5. In this exercise, listen carefully to the short conversation and question in the recording, and then choose the best answer to the question. You should be particularly careful of passives. Number one. Would you like to go to the new restaurant on the corner? Is that the one that serves vegetarian food? What does the woman want to know? Number two. Has Harry heard from the law school yet? Yes. He was admitted by the law school for the fall semester. What happened to Harry? Number three. Mark said that you were a lot of help. Well, I took care of his plants while he was out of town. What does the woman mean? Number four. Do you know what happened during the lightning storm? Yes, several trees were destroyed. What does the man mean? Number five. Did you see Sally? Her legs in a cast. Yes, I know. She told me that she broke her legs skiing in the mountains. What happened to Sally? Number six. The horses are not in very good shape now. They were ridden too long and too hard. What does the man mean? Number seven. Why didn't you order coffee? I thought it had already been ordered. What does the man mean? Number eight. How are your friends going to get home from the airport after their trip? Their car was left in the airport lot. What does the woman mean? Number nine. Has the class chosen a representative? The other students appointed Mac class representative. What does the woman mean? Number 10. Wasn't the building damaged in the earthquake? Yes, it was. 
and when this happened, the inhabitants were paid by the insurance company. What does the man mean? So great, that was uh, skill number five. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Let's go on to skill number six where uh, we've got uh, more of the same, but uh, uh, now th they're going to add more people into the mix. And uh, it it's not just people, it's places and things. So um, be prepared for uh, some conversations uh, that can get a, a bit confusing. Um, they can definitely catch you off guard. Uh, so uh, uh, my best uh, uh, tip is uh, relax and be confident that uh, your ability uh, uh, and your instincts is, are going to help you through this. We've got uh, here uh, in the example, the man, uh, do you know who's in the band now? <clears throat> I heard that Mara replaced Robert in the band. What does a woman say about the band? <clears throat> so uh, we've got our answer options uh, that uh, Robert became a new band member. Uh, that uh, Robert took Mara's place, that Mara didn't have a place, and that Mara took Robert's place. So uh, our uh, best answer option, or, or our, our answer is D, that Mara took Robert's place. Uh, that's actually um, pretty straightforward. They get uh, more difficult than that uh, very quickly. So it's common for the answers to confuse uh, which noun does what. And let's go on to uh, page 25. Here we've got some uh, practice dialogues. And uh, I will let you pause the recording for a moment to analyze these. Here's one more. And we'll go on to uh, the practice activity. Let me start the track and I will be uh, turning off the microphone presently. TOEFL Exercise 6 In this exercise, listen carefully to the short conversation and question in the recording and then choose the best answer to the question. You should be particularly careful of who is doing what. Number 1. The passenger arrived in a taxi. Yes, and then she had the taxi driver wait at the corner. What does the woman mean? Number two. Did you go to the concert last night? Yes, it was great, and I got to hear Jane play the harp. What does the woman mean? Number three. Did the children like the new babysitter? Not really, because she made them go to bed early. What does the man mean? Number four. Why is that man throwing the ball so carefully? He is tossing the ball to his young son. 
What does the woman say about the father and son? Number five. Did the professor tell her students about the lecture this evening? Yes, she directed her students to attend it. What does the woman mean? Number six. I cannot find the clerk. The floor manager sent him back to the supply room. What happened, according to the man? Number seven. Will the students be able to get hold of the books that they need? The librarian had them reserve the books for two days. What does the man mean? Number eight. Were elections held last night as scheduled? Yes, and the board elected Tony chairman for another year. What does the woman mean? Number nine. At the trial, the defendant was found guilty. Yes, the judge called the defendant a murderer. What does the man mean? Number 10. Have the names of the new committee members been announced? Congratulations. You've been appointed to serve on the committee. What does the man mean? So that was skill six, another gem of TOEFL audio, if you will. We're going to uh, stop it right there, I believe, and call it a night. You've got skills uh, four, five, and six to practice with. Uh, if you had problems with uh, the last skill, um, then I suggest that you check out uh, a grammar point called the causative and uh, I'll write it out for you just so that you can see what I'm talking about. <coughs> um, the causative the causative <coughs> with uh, have get and let and if we have time uh, we'll check it out in class um, before we take uh, a quiz over over this this listening have a nice night I hope the uh, video was uh, helpful